know. I don't know what. Um, because she rolled a net one. So, oh. uh, you you managed to get your your arm around Natsumi's throat, but as as you do, you accidentally scratch her. The scratch isn't too deep. She takes about three damage. Um, because seven's an odd number. So she takes she takes three damage and immediately falls unconscious. Okay. At that moment, I <clears throat> tell them, guys, I figured it out. She was being, she was being, uh, not controlled, influenced. Yes. She was being influenced by the energy of Margaret. And we probably should have told her that we will help her and the baby get out of here. Uh, but yeah, knocking her out <laughs> also works. <laughs> we'll try to run if after she wakes up she's still crazy. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that's not how sleeper holds work, by the way. I'm fully well aware of it, but. <laughs> I mean, if you want, as a DM, want to do it differently, then by all means. I was see. I, did I roll Arcana on the, on the... No, not yet. Oh, no. So I asked Drachnor if I can take a look at it. I just let her plop to the ground. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> QN lies up her head banging on the floor. <laughs> Ali, you there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you're Arcana. Jesus. Uh, you notice that the scroll has a very faint, dark, uh, darkness to it. And you can definitely tell that, um, there's traces of magic, although you're not really sure what kind. You just know that it's not good. Okay. All right. I, I'll put it away if nobody objects. I don't think uh, any of us, including myself, can read this. <laughs> no, let's read it again. We need another two hours. <laughs> 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 found the way down have we mm -mm. which of these doors have we not gone through actually um okay i actually can't so yeah i'll i'll carefully make my way through that door yes dang i see it <laughs> are you sure <laughs> I'm, are you I'm, I'm unconscious so you not me. Do you see it now? Do you see it? Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure I felt it earlier. That's <laughs> something. I, I thought I thought she was like a girl, but I may have been wrong. I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So <laughs> you you slip in there, Diggity. <laughs> okay. Okay. So you said you. Okay, you don't <laughs> complain, but then you make the jokes. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm not complaining, okay? Um, so... Uh, oh, very well, very well. All right, so is anyone else following him? Oh. Me. <laughs> You're unconscious, and apparently uh, your friends just did you. We just abandoned you. Ali, I'm actually gonna go. No, I'll I'll, I'll stay back and do enroll medicine on her. No, you're going in. Yeah. I'm you okay. It doesn't. It really doesn't make sense to just abandon her. 
She'll wake up in a couple of sec in a round or two. Shooting cross. Oh yeah, take her crossbows bows away from her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take <clears throat> those away. And I start doing my medicine She's again. Grounded. She's grounded. <laughs> okay, we're gonna still okay. So as you three walk into <sighs> this room, you are suddenly struck with an eerie feeling of being watched from all sides. Wolves, wolves everywhere, their heads mounted on the walls, their snarls frozen on their faces. It seems like wherever you go, those damned eyes just follow you around. Only difference in this entire room, other than the wolves, is a single stag's head mounted above the fireplace. What floor are we in? At the entrance. Oh, we're on the first floor still? Okay. I thought we told we were on the second floor, that's why I was confused. Three stuffed wolves are placed around the room. You can tell if this is some kind of a hunting den. Maybe just a gentleman's club. Not like that, guys. Fine chairs. Ooh, a gentleman's club. Luke is it here. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, fine chairs draped in rich furs are facing the hearth. A cast of wine and a pipe rack, pipe rack are on the table between them. Two goblets are on that same table, long, dry, but very clean. Cabinets okay. line the wall, and in one darkened corner of the room, a chandelier hangs. Over. No, I just had an idea. Does this basement, is it like an outdoor opening for a basement? me? <clears throat> can, can I be conscious now? <laughs> so I'm going to search the room for stuff and things. Okay, you roll... Uh, investigation, my brain. Okay. I'm not 100% sure I'm supposed to be rolling investigation. If I'm making mistakes, please let me know. Well, so whatever you feel. In general, perception is if you are basically doing a quick notice of things. Investigation is if you are taking the time to search the room. Oh, okay. Thank That's you. That's the difference between the two. Well, thank you. I've been guessing. <laughs> All right, so roll investigation. I'm going to kill this GM because she's been making me roll perception for investigators. <laughs> I wish I could roll perception. I have a plus five for that. Well, I put all my stuff in investigation. <laughs> you can't put stuff into in investigation. In person maybe. tomorrow, I will hurt you. <laughs> okay. No, I mean, my, my investigation sucks while my perception is amazing. <laughs> so. What are you doing? Huh? Are you investigating? You just told me to roll investigate. Well, what are you doing? I'm just looking around for stuff. And perception, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. No thoughts. Doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> if he is taking you... the time to actively search for stuff, it's investigate. If he is just stepping in, Here, do, let me do this. doing a quick look around, then it's perception. All right, so he's looking around the room and uh, he gets really close to one of the wolves. <laughs> here, let me, let, me, let me do this for you here. Uh, Constant, message, there you go. Read up on that whenever you have time. Uh, actually, that doesn't help at all. That's not what I was trying to look for. Um... That is not what I wanted to look Pretty for. much see nothing. It looks like a very no, cozy, man. cozy place, though. Um, Natsumi, you are now conscious. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. Unfortunately, you're still mad. But am I sane, no, though? No, time expired. Yeah, no, your, your time expired. Don't worry. So you, I'm sane. Uh, yeah, you sit up straight all of a sudden, um, but oh, you have one hell of a headache. And you, you have an unexplained scratch 
on your throat. I, I, I hold my throat. And Andor is the only one I see, right? Yes. Can I start explaining to him what happened to me? Can I roll medicine on her throat also? Because I was trying to use medicine on her when she was on the floor. Wait up, guys. Huh? Uh, Constance? I think her... I don't know. <laughs> Maybe, Maybe her headset. Yeah. There you go. I can even put one of all three of them. There you are. Who? Weird. Me. Yeah, yeah I, I, said, go, I, I said go ahead. Okay, so oh, okay. I explained um, everything. Oh, no, go for it. <laughs> that's my medicine. And let me know if I can roll. Or if she rolls her hit die or whatever. Yeah. What do I need to do? You roll your hit die. Anything over. Plus your constitution. Oh, yeah. she's deep ten. This is for everybody. Constitution bonus. So I heal in my loss. I heal six. Is your constitution modifier three? No. No? Oh, it's a one? Uh constitution. Oh no, okay. It already, it already adds for a constitution modifier in that roll. Yeah. Oh cool. Okay. Oh man, I understand. Yeah, that's interesting. The anyway, so. Oh, um, actually, you know, so I'm full health know. again, right? Yeah, cause he was only using one arm, so he only scratched you with one claw. Okay. Um. So I explained everything to Andor. This is what went on when I read the letter. I heard this and that and this. Do you remember everything? Cause I don't. <laughs> and. Bye. That was never told, like, you guys discussed that on your own, right? We didn't know. No, the, um, when, uh, the whole, uh, does it, I am not your savior, however many you brought to the altar to sacrifice, blah, blah, blah. Oh, oh okay. So that basically, was... Basically, the letter said, um, y'all bitches be tripping. I don't care how many people you sacrifice, leave me the hell alone. Stalkers. Yeah. So that's what happened, and I also explained, like, you, um, before I fell unconscious, I was seeing the family, demons first, and then they became the family, and that's, uh, I'm assuming that you guys were the family that I was seeing, and the demons. Oh, okay. Uh, and then I say, I just remembered about, like, there were two deeds, right, that we found. One for the house yeah. and one for the, what was the other one? The windmill. The windmill. We should go to the windmill, I think. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. That's probably where the wife is. Yeah, so where's the rest of the people? Where oh, they went to the next room. Let's, let's head over there. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go. Can you read your messages? The last one? Yeah, yeah. Um, Whenever you can't have time. Not right now. Yeah, yeah. Right now, but. Um, so you guys want to go to the windmill? Yep. Do you know where the windmill is? Well, we would need to get out of the house, but we want to regroup with the other guys in the whatever room with the wolves and things. Yeah, I'm gonna keep searching them around here. Good. And then I wanna go ask okay. the kids where the windmill is. Thraknar, what are you doing? I'm gonna step outside the building and go look around for like an outside entrance to this basement. Okay. As you and um, Natsumi walk to the entrance, of the house, you hear the clank clank of uh, plot chains wrapping around your ankles, making you not able to leave. <laughs> no, 
I'm just no. kidding. In all seriousness, the doors do not open, and you hear a malicious cackling noise coming from somewhere in the house. If I try to kick the door open. Can I use the key that I found? You can try. Uh, that door, <laughs> no matter how hard you kick at that door, it almost seems like it has become uh, like plasma. I'm trying to think of it. Like not solid, not liquid. It just like jello. It just kind of swallows your, your blows. And it's then that you realize that the house itself seems to be alive. And the air around you starts pulsating um, just like a heartbeat. And it only lasts for a few seconds. But Fight it's me, a few demon! Sec- <laughs> but in those few seconds, you realize that it's actually the house is alive. And as you, Natsumi, peer out one of the windows where the children were supposed to have been waiting, you realize that there's nobody out there. It's as if they never existed at all. Oh, of course. <laughs> I hate children. <laughs> <laughs> you start to wonder, maybe this is just a, a trap. You start to wonder if those children were even there at all. You wonder how long it's been that you've been in this house. A thousand years. We're already dead. We just don't know it yet. Oh no, we're getting the but we're getting Oh my world <laughs> in the eye. And then all of a sudden you start hearing the sound of silence. It's Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, not Freddy. <laughs> huh. There's just silence once more. Ugh. Can I investigate the the room also? Yep. Yep. Mm. You got it, dude. And just are we s- are we with the party or are we still in? You're in the main foyer. Yeah, you guys are technically uh, over. You guys are over here. Yeah, we we'll went to the main. Andor's in here, and Thraknar and you guys are over here. Um, coming to the horrifying conclusion, and and it's only you two that that have this realization. Nobody else knows because they're busy playing with the wolves. You mean Andor is with me? Yeah. Well, Thraknar. Thraknar went to bust out the. Oh, rude. Right. We want to go see the kids. Indoors, um, looking at the wolves. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. Well, I'm looking at everything: ceiling, you know, walls. Okay, so as you begin walking around and inspecting every piece of the the room, you notice out of the corner of your eye, much like in the concert room, the ballroom, that shadows of wolves seem to be creeping along the walls. But every time you look, they're not there anymore. And it's just, uh, it's just a stationary shadow flickering on the wall. Hmm. And of course I look to whatever that, like the shadow, how can I say this? It would be from light coming from the windows that are projecting a shadow someplace or something like that. I look for the whatever opposite location, see if I see what's creating that shadow. You I, I just keep investigating, I guess. Yeah, same. Went to the cabinets around the furniture. you're aware of something creeping behind you and 
with all the snarling wolves around you, it's just suffocating. Drac no, or wait, no, we haven't heard from Katie. What are you doing? Katie. I guess I was investigating in the room. Roll What? Roll investigation two. Negatory. Seems like a nice place to you you plop down in one of the chairs. Seems like a nice place to just You're investigating the comfort of that chair. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice guys. You should relax. Direct Natsumi, what are you guys doing? Going back and telling the others that we're trapped here. And Yeah, basically. And there's yeah. So we gotta like What do you mean we're trapped here? The house is alive. It ate us. <laughs> it's a mimic. <laughs> <laughs> so we gotta either find the basement or um, did, I don't think we ever even got to the attic. Because um, as soon as we realized that the house is alive, we heard children. So I think the children put the curse on us, not their mom. Oh. Where was those kids' voices at? You were there with me. I don't know. <laughs> Did they sound like they were coming from outside, you guys? No. Right? No. Oh, it sounded. It just was all around you. There was. There was no way to pinpoint where it came from. Did they hear it too? Well, they were in the wolf room. Everyone heard it. Everyone heard it. Oh, okay. So yeah. So I think the kids. Sorry, she made us. it more clear. I think the kids cursed us. So we should can go to the do... attic because I think that's... Yeah. Can or... we do... It, it, it's kind of hard for me like to keep track of the house layout. So I'd like to know if we've been to every room on this floor and then we should make sure we check every room on all floors. Yeah. Me too, actually. Yeah. This room and the second floor have been cleared. They um, have been cleared. Okay. Yeah, I think that I can. Well. All right. So. Oh, oh gosh, Jared. Now you got me doing it. What? Yawning. Oh. Um. Okay. <laughs> because technically, this one would be the only pathway to a. Uh, uh, any kind of underground location. And oh. we've already investigated. No? No, there was still that the room across from this. Anyways, so are we going up to the attic? Yeah, you guys cleared everything on the first and second floor. An attic it yeah. attic it is. Yeah. If we can find it. The basement? Well there's the third We're trying floor. to find the way to the basement, but we can't find a way to the basement. Okay. What? Why are we obsessed with the basement? Because that's where the that's kids were. Their parents were. Yeah. Yeah. And the monster. Hmm. Maybe we had to go to the attic to find something, a way to get to the basement. Maybe there's like a part of the house that is only accessible from the attic. Yeah, it's possible. Like a room between rooms or something. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to the attic, or oh, yeah, from right there. Can you actually ask your your family to find us a way to the attic? Uh, no, I'm not gonna risk their safety. If they want to go look for something themselves, they can, obviously. But I'm not gonna tell them to. They're my parents. Yeah, three. <laughs> I... Look, what? Okay. I'm like, who are we talking about again? I'm gonna point to the crows. My family. Oh, okay. Look. She wants me to tell my parents what to do. <laughs> and they give Natsumi a look, like all three of them. I'm <laughs> sorry. I mean, it's just 
It's just logical. You guys can fly. I didn't mean any, you know. I didn't mean <laughs> to be mean. <laughs> the father crow, the largest, the father crow, lets out an ear piercing caw oh gosh. of, um, <laughs> you know, of disapproval. Of disapproval <laughs> at, um, caw, <laughs> caw. Yeah, like, no, 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 not disappointment. Disapproval. Yeah, not the regular caw. Uh, yeah, yeah. The approval one. Yeah, it's, it's unlike the, the you feel of... bad. Everybody feels bad now. Yeah, he's not mad. He's just disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> Parents uh, and your sister have a name. Non-binary sibling, because you can decide. <laughs> anyway, so... Uh, yeah, can you move me? Yeah, everybody actually. Where are we going, guys? We're attic. In the attic. <laughs> we're stored what would be an attic. Unlock the attic yet. Yeah, Y'all haven't even got you guys the highest you've gotten is the third floor. Let's go back to okay, the third floor. Go there to the third floor. Investigate the hallway. For all you guys know, there is no attic. So I wanna investigate the hallway. Oh wait, because you know that's where the the thing was. Oh, I would investigate the whatever the armor was behind, standing by the wall. The one that I destroyed. Oh wait, did we ever go in this one? Because we went into this one to find the baby. I went through yeah. this one and this one. And not this one. So this it. one is the one that we haven't gone through yet, right? Let's do it. Since I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys all going in there? Yeah. Yes. Alright. Well, they're gonna open the door. It seems slowly. To be... Is it locked? And you guys are going in there? Yeah. Alright. Um, as all of you guys try to pile in there at once, you realize that it's it's really just a very small uh kind of pantry. Storage, a storage closet. Um, however, a sudden clang um, fills the air as. Who's the first one in? Dana. I wanted to as be the Natsumi, first one in. As Natsumi walks. Wow, Natsumi. As Natsumi walks in, an uh, entire mm -hmm. shelf just comes down and a very <laughs> large broom um, seems to spring to life. Ooh. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, 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 action. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to move us first yeah. or no? Uh, oh, I need to select my character token. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is a very Chris, low roll. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's fine if I go last. I'm wasting my, my nat ones on initiative. That's fine. I still get to go. <laughs> Yo, okay. Uh... Go ahead. Oh wait, I have to roll initiative too. Oh, just kidding. Uh, just kidding. Only we get turns. <laughs> <laughs> Where are okay. you anyway? <laughs> We're still in the third floor. Uh, well, I can't move. All well, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, switch us out. Yeah, oh, it's a broom. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, all right. Yeah. I cannot see. Where I am anymore. That's because all of you are crammed in there. <laughs> Very well. But wasn't uh, there like a a, room, okay. a bigger room now? Because yeah. the shelf fell or something. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It seems that the shelf toppled over inside the closet. Which revealed a bigger room, right? Oh. Oh no, I never mind. The bigger mess. Oh, this is okay, that's it. That's the bigger it's room. Really room. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. And then Yeah, I did it. Alright. Wait, how did you get a twenty for Oh wait, that's uh, 
That's unfortunate. That's me. That's my 20. <laughs> That's my 20. All right, you're just at the bottom. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so I go first. No, Ander goes first. Yes. All right, go for it. <clears throat> that. This poor room. Head and roll damage. Okay. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. Um, oh, beautiful. Wow. Nice. All right, or so. Room. <laughs> you. <laughs> wow. I... Wow. Room. That is so cruel. Oh, All right, so you. And or you freak out when you see this. I went this... full Emperor Palpatine on the room. Exactly. <laughs> Comes out of nowhere, you panic, and you just charge it, you rub your hands together like defibrillators, and pull an Emperor Palpatine on this sucker, and just flash. And clear. You yell clear, and this bolt of purple lightning shoots out, surrounds this poor room, and it explodes. And about then is when you realize that maybe you had overreacted and it was just a regular room. Now what? what? <laughs> now what is the room? The broom might have been real, might have just been a regular broom. You don't know. You yeah, will never know now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Maybe <laughs> you had left something behind. Jeez. <laughs> Obliterated. <laughs> Unlimited power! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, oh. Congratulations on killing an innocent household object. <laughs> <laughs> or a demonic household object. We don't know. As soon as we're done, I'd like to investigate the room. I'm pretty sure other people would like to do it too. Okay, roll. Oh. Yeah, go ahead. Sixteen. Um, you notice, the clutter that there is a lot of cleaning supplies. Um, there's really nothing of interest, though. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pick up all the Purell. <laughs> Don't forget the toilet paper. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, it's all stops on time, so I'm sure they have a lot of Purell and toilet paper. <laughs> so nothing else, Ali? Nothing else. Okay. Mm. All right, th what are you doing? You cut out. What did you say? Uh, oh. I am continuing to make my way up to the attic. You don't know where that is yet, though. Like, you don't see any... The stairs here do not go up further. Yeah, I the stairs don't go up further. I thought I saw one more door that we hadn't been through on the top. No, you've been through everything. Oh, we have? Mm -hmm. Guys, guys, we have no choice. We have to rescue that baby, you guys. <laughs> hang on, hang on. There's always a choice. Hang on. Yeah, to rescue the baby. Oh, you don't. Y'all don't have to. We could. Um, Constance, Constance, look at the last message I just sent. <laughs> I mean, out of game, you know, I already, you know, but you. Yeah, read that. <laughs> Anywho, uh, what's happening? I do have an option. It's called seppuku. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's the way in this house. Come on. Yeah, this. Well, you know. It's a really creepy house. There's gotta be a secret door somewhere. 
I'm investigating the hallway. Oh wait, it's not my turn yet. <laughs> Whose turn is it? It's anyone's really, we're not in combat. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna check the walls right where the armor was. I will help her. So, um, investigation? Or, maybe we or perception. <laughs> there is there is no hidden door um anywhere in in this room you see absolutely nothing <gasps> oh ooh, you guys let's go through the study there was a chimney that uh, a chimney is yes chimney right oh yeah there was a fireplace a fireplace yeah. yeah let's let's check that fireplace one more time I feel no, like almost all the rooms had a fireplace. Does this have a fireplace? No, it doesn't. Oh, the one on the second floor. There's like a fireplace on there, right? In the main hallway. Maybe that's actually a hidden doorway or something instead of a fireplace. But, yeah. Well, I would have told you guys that if because you guys were looking for secret doors and all that jazz. Right, but we never checked the hallways for secret doors and all that jazz. Holly, real quick, this door here is for baby, right? No? no, that door is for the bathroom. This door is oh, for baby. I'm, I'm stuck. Where am I? That door is for baby. Am How I did I get in here? <laughs> I don't know. Where are you? <laughs> I can't even move my, my, uh, my character. Oh, there is. Really? Oh, that's weird. Okay. That is the master bedroom that y'all explored last. I, I explored it and I didn't find anything in there. So, the hallway in the second floor, please. Yeah, take me to the second floor as well, please. Yep. I will follow them. Amanda? Go back in there. Take me there, too. Yeah. Take me there. Let's go there. Okay, investigate this area. Or perception. I don't know. Perceive. So, I, I'll investigate. Did you move to the second floor? Oh, wait, never mind. I hadn't. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you do not see anything at all is there a keyhole somewhere there is absolutely nothing down here i'm gonna go back to the study then worth fashion you guys move in into the study um oops Investigate the, the, the fireplace. <laughs> can can we go out to the top? You see that it goes... It, it is pitch black as you look up. There, you really can't see past the, the soot. Where did you bring me? Study. Katie, can you put your lights up there? Lights up in the the chimney fireplace. This is the study. Yes. Anything of note on the stable either? Really, isn't anything uh, left after Thraknar got there <laughs> and ransacked it? Um, there's just there's nothing new. Um, Katie, as you throw your lights up there, it kind of disappears into the darkness and just seems to get swallowed up. It's almost like it's just consumed. However, as the lights kind of flicker, you start hearing a, a very faint, familiar sound. Oh, goodness. Uh, it seems like you've woken the baby. 
Congratulations. Uh, Rebecca, can I use the bathroom? To the baby's room. <laughs> it's creepy. Let's go talk to the nurse. Nurse, <laughs> check and uh, see what's up. Right? Yeah. Let's do the thing, you guys. I have a plan. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no, you guys Fine, let's do your plan. You've been wanting to do that since forever yeah, ago. Yeah, let's do it. It's gonna work 100%. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, it's doing that, slap some fence into her. I'd like to step in, like, out of character here and just say that that is something he says whenever something goes horribly wrong in real life. To... <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go get a drink, though, so... I'm in person. All right. Again. I'm gonna try something new. 30 second break, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, All right, I'm back. Constance is that getting a break. Did I miss anything? No. Anything other than the baby started crying and we're going to do um, Andor's plan? Baby and the creepy plan. So yes, creepy plan. plan. Baby creepy plan. <laughs> um, we, we collected enough material to know what's going on in this house. We know that Margaret is under a lot of stress mm -hmm. and it looks like the family was after her. Mm -hmm. And she's trying to protect the baby. Right. Which is so, the bastard. Right. Yes. So somebody with uh, good communication skills keeps her busy while I am going to levitate that baby out of the crib. I'll do it. And we get to take a close look at the baby. You have a plus five to persuasion. But I have performance. <laughs> I can, I can perform stuff. I guess I don't know. I'm a performer, okay. This is my living, or what I, what I do for a living. Uh, you can also intimidate her. No, I don't think that's a good idea. It would be interesting. It'll be that interesting to try to extract as much information as we can from her as well because I'm hoping eventually we're gonna be at this windmill and she might have some good good stuff for us oh yeah I I um tell the rest of the party what about the windmill and how Ander and I had the conclusion that we should go there so up to speed yeah, it's even possible this, uh, not the attic, but whatever room we're looking for could be in there. True. So, here, the windmill has the attic or the basement. Basement, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember anything about a windmill, so, alright. The deed that we found in the chest with the dead body? Mm -hmm. yeah, there were, there were two deeds. The house and the windmill. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. So. Did you see a windmill when we, when we even came into this house, though? I did. Well, we had we were out of town. We literally got into town. And this was the first the house. house in the town. Yeah. Okay. So we didn't really get to explore the town. So are we going in or what? Um. Uh, are we? Do we already know everything we want to say and do? No. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna be honest. My my acting skills are not that great. <laughs> we don't necessarily have to act either. True. Well, you don't have to act. You just, you just have, have to keep, keep her busy. Yeah. Her. So. I could make we. I could make you know enough small talk with her to hopefully you know keep her fixated on me. Yeah, and just remember, we don't piss off ghosts. Right, so don't piss off ghosts, <laughs> Thraknar. 
So let's. Yeah. You I'll and I shall. Um. Why don't question. three of us go in? Quick question. Yeah. How do we know that she's not already gonna be aware of the plan? Considering we've been saying this out loud and the house, you know. No, because we're is like spooky. Whispering. Well, that's the risk we're willing to take, right? Because we don't have any choice. We don't. Pretty have much. Telepathy or anything. If if I'm right, I and know. because the dancing lights kind of woke up the baby, the house is the baby, or the baby is the house. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're okay. in the baby, <laughs> and right, Margaret is just there to, you. okay. Chat. <laughs> All right, so. Oh it only lasts for, for, for one turn. I, I can speak to them as you know often as I want, but they can only speak back to me for one turn. So I have to be using this every turn and to one person at a time, unfortunately, but. So, right. who's going in? I'm going in. Thrachnor is going in. Oh, Katie, you coming in? I'm going. Oh, so everybody except for Andor. I, I'll go. Well, I I have to go in, but stay behind, just like acting like I'm looking. Yes, but I'm yeah, we're gonna be covering him. Okay. Kind of, with our body. Yeah, I'll cast my body spell out here, so she doesn't see me casting anything, and then I just go in and concentrate. <laughs> I don't think Constance is back though. Here. She is. She's moving us. Oh, okay. Yeah, she's moving us. Where is where is Margaret standing? Okay. Where is the baby? Oh. Okay. And the, there's a door right here. Right. right. We haven't even gone in there. I think. Hold on, real quick. I'm getting. The balcony. The baby's in the balcony. Okay. No, baby's over here. The balcony's over here. There's another door? Uh, I don't see another door. Uh, Katie's covering it up. Oh, oh okay. I hate robo calls. What'd you say? Oh, so robocall? Eight, yeah, it's a, hello, this is a call, this is a message for everyone who's a member of the National Association of Realtors. I was like, turn off. <laughs> okay, so Margaret's over here, or here. Baby's yeah, over in this room. Uh, so can, let's... Can you walk into the room? I can't see anything. I go over oh, and let start, start making small talk with her, trying to keep her attention. Uh, she, she's looking at you, but almost through you. She doesn't seem to fully be part of this. She doesn't seem to be fully aware of, of her surroundings, exactly. But she's aware of you, and she's speaking back to you. How do you want this room? Can yeah. I do something to distract her? Like... I explained to them Play with my crossbows. to face away from the baby, and we got this. Right? Terrible. Terrible role. Terrible performance. Ali, you're very low. We can't hear you. She recognizes... Um, she recognizes the... She recognizes you guys as you walk in, and she just kind of mm. turns uh, ever so slightly to look at the group. But once again, she seems to be walk staring through you. Um, but I'm still... gonna look to where she's looking at. Or do you mean she's just like looking like as if she doesn't see us, but she still acknowledges that we're here? Yeah. Oh, okay. Are kind of unfocused a bit. I'm just gonna start jumping well, on like the bed. Lights are on, but no one's there. Kind of look. Yeah. Yeah. Vacant. Yeah, she. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around the room again. I'm just gonna jump on the bed, like, like it's a trampoline. <laughs> glances over. Um, <laughs> she kind of glances over to Natsumi and just kind of shakes her head, like Natsumi's a small child as well. Here, you need to come down from there. You're going to get hurt. You're going to hit your head. But this is fun. 
No, no. You need to come down here right now or there will be consequences. Nope. I, I'm, I'm having fun. Young miss, you need to come down from the bed. Nope. I, I'm assuming at this point she's totally focused on Natsumi, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'll tell my unseen servant to go and lift whatever is covering baby. Whatever is covering baby or lift the baby? And then lift baby. Are you? But, but slowly, like uh, the unseen servant has enough strength to lift the baby and slowly, like it's holding it on its hands, you know? Like, it, like I'm trying to not wake up the baby. Yeah. Um, so, the moment your spell touches oh, fuck. Uh, anything, like touches even the sheet, um, Margaret's head snaps back, um, faster than you think it's humanly possible to look at where, uh, where Andor is and the door to the nursery. She lets out a horrifying shriek and lunges forward um, towards the baby's room. Just forward, I go to smack her with my uh, with my war hammer. Not done. <laughs> 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 and she she moves forward and just hair her hair starts falling out in clumps and just oh. her skin starts practically melting from oh the top of her bones. Oh boy. And she becomes unrecognizable to what she was. Oh boy. Roll initiative. Oh boy. Fine. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell the Ragnar... baby and run around the crib and play the game. Of course. This is the and third then... nat one for initiative I've rolled today. Oh goody. Then... Yay. As for Ragnar. I don't know how that works because well, she moves if she not moves moving. Like she's not literally moving. She's just taking like a step forward and holding out a hand like shrieking. Like her body is leaning forward and she's taking like a step but not actually moving. Does that make sense? She lunged towards where the thing was though. Yeah, she like leaned forward with a hand outstretched. Kinda like longing. Well, I'm trying to think of, I think it was in The Nun, where... I, that's already gone over my head. <laughs> okay, yeah, there's this, there's a couple horror movies. Um, it's like a, a banshee, she's banshee. Like, she's reaching forward and shrieking. Like... Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like, when yes. you hold out... Yeah, hold when out. you take it off the and scream really loud. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Um, hey, I do have a question though, and I'm sorry, I'm obviously really new at this. Um, Jared, would, how does that, because I know attack of opportunity and everything. Leaves, huh? right? Leaves the... Yeah, that's what they, they leave the threat range unless you have the sentinel feet with a, um, which means if they come into your threat range. Well, I can, so if she's... Essentially, what I am doing is I am taking my warhammer and just swinging it at her because she's, you know, Technically, she's obviously it's breaking that from happening. She doesn't have to leave the threatened square. Uh, but she, if she's going for the baby, she would give everybody an attack of opportunity, right? Or no? No. The baby, she's just screaming at everyone and holding a hand out and like leaning forward. Um, so there are things, such things as surprise rounds, but... What is uh, that? Because I think that's, I think that's what I'm thinking is ha like, Jared... Alright, here, here. Doing, but I don't know. Alright, surprise rounds. <laughs> if, if you're trying to consider it a surprise round, she would have done her thing. I would have swung. That would have been the first immediate turn of combat, and then everyone acts in order. Yes. Stan, what? Because 
I mean, I'm just used to rolling initiative and, and doing it that way. It's well, like no, you, preemptive, that, that, right? Technically, the way a surprise round would work, we all do initiative. Everyone who is acting in the surprise round, i.e. me and the ghost lady, we do our actions. When it gets to the next people's turn in the, surprise, in the round, they just can't take an action. And then we go to the start of the turn like normal. So what makes it, Basically, like, how do I... Basically, what do with, with Dana? Preemptive. But, Strike. So or, what decides if it's a surprise round or not, I guess is my question. Well, normally a surprise round happens when we're asleep. But if I'm out of the blue taking my Warhammer and swinging at it without giving any sense of warning, that would also be a surprise round. Because it's a preemptive strike. Okay. That makes sense. I mean, I'm still technically in your range, so go ahead. More or less a GM's call, because there is no real clear definition of when a surprise round yeah, that is always true. happen. The, the general guidelines is if someone is taken off guard, if they're like what I just tried to do, um, if they get woken up in the middle of the night and you need to see if someone is uh, aware of what's happening, mm -hmm. um, or the classic if you're flat-footed or not. So basically well, I, what happened no. earlier was a surprise round when I shot at you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that would have been when... Dana fired her crossbow, she would have gotten the crossbow off before anyone else could have done anything. Mm -hmm. And that would have counted as a surprise. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's but, I mean, we'll just it. keep in mind, in this situation, we pretty much, like, we're not her friends. And no. we're a bunch of fully armed adventurers in a room. <laughs> <laughs> touch it, baby! Yeah, it's not Don't like... touch the baby. <laughs> Yeah, she was relaxed, chit-chatting. Yeah. Well, at the time, she she was just well, she was actually scolding, but yeah. Hey, I heard Jared sigh. We're gonna use the uh, <laughs> we're gonna do the surprise round. I gotta learn anyway. All right, so go ahead and roll for a. So, yeah. So technically, what happens is Andor. It comes to Andor's turn. He is quote surprised. So you move to the next person that person in initiative. Oh, okay. You swung, didn't you? Okay, so... Yeah, you, are, are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, Surprise, yeah, okay, so... Just like a normal round of combat, it's Andor's turn, but since he is technically... Since he is surprised, he skips his turn. That's fine. And then it comes to the next person in turn, which in my case happens to be me. I swing the Warhammer... Would, it would be would next. A, hmm? Well, that's that was kind of my question because that would be me. So you swung, and then. Uh, Spooky would end up going later on in the turn. Well, because. Okay, so I'm uh, technically Margaret is surprised. Yes, Margaret yeah. is surprised. Okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, go for Everyone it. Everyone else is still. Quote surprised because of the way that because of this started of the way how combat okay. started. Mm -hmm. Okay, what go ahead. Okay. Yes. And then from there, it would move down to whomever is next. With Natsumi again, or would it just go from you to Andor? I don't know. I, I can't tell in the order who's who. I, the picture. Oh, so the nineteen is Dana. Yeah. Okay, so the night. So Dana would have. Dana would have done her surprise round where she couldn't act. I swing the warhammer. The ten goes. He can't do anything because of because he's not because he is surprised. The eight goes. Same thing. The first three goes. Then the last three would go. Now I have a question because I'm not in that combat. Like I'm doing something else. So you'll just be at the bottom of the initiative, still. Oh really? Yeah, you'll just be at the bottom of the initiative. 
Okay. Because where you come in, you're not so your whatever thing you're doing will be at the bottom of the initiative. That way, whenever you do come in combat, if you do, you'll be at the bottom of the initiative because you're coming in after the fact that we're already fighting. Okay. <clears throat> Once the ghost goes, the turn order restart. Okay, so do does the ghost get a well, I guess a response to you swinging the warhammer at her? Because the ghost she... technically the ghost is supposed to make a perception check. Uh, at least I believe it's a perception check. It might be a wisdom save. For the what? Warhammer? For the warhammer? For, to determine surprise if they are caught off guard or not. Um, guard. I, I think it's just their. I think they just make a perception check. Yeah, they would either have to if they try to. Here it is. Um, the GM determines who might be surprised. If neither side tries to be stealthy, they automatically notice each other. Okay. Otherwise, the GM compares the decks. The stealth checks to anyone hiding with a passive perception score. That's assuming if you're trying to hide. Uh, so really, it's up to you whether or not the ghost is surprised or not. If the ghost is surprised, then the ghost doesn't get to act. If the ghost is not surprised, the ghost gets to act like normal. Okay, ghost is focused on baby, ghost is surprised. Okay, so then ghost would skip ghost's turn. And then turn and order starts over with, with, um, with Natsumi going like normal now. Yeah, the turn order is then goes as normal with everyone taking their actions. Okay, so we'll go for the next round basically, right? Yeah, so that's Natsumi. Okay, right. so I will attack her, obviously. Well, Technically, technically, now you would resolve something that um um and 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 or would be doing first technically because it's yeah, still because time passing. Thing, right? <laughs> so what's well, going that's on? Okay. That's, a, that's a conflict if she wants to do and or's out stuff that happens during combat separately or not. Right. Yeah. It depends on which one she wants to resolve first. She wants to resolve combat first, we can. Well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Because he's still here, he still gets a turn, technically, that he can do whatever he wants. So... Yes. Like that. If we're keeping it in turn order, yes. If he's... Because he did roll initiative. He's oh, still oh he did roll initiative. Oh, okay, then never mind, yeah. Let's, and yeah. Let's, hold on, I, I have a suggestion. Because this is what's happening. I am out of melee... It doesn't right. matter. You're in the room. You have your yeah. Your, yeah. You're going. And I'm controlling the unseen servants, which yeah, yeah, yeah. which is still on your turn. It's still on your turn though. So because you're in the room with us, you're in initiative. So you'll go whenever your initiative comes up, and then whether you attack her or not, if you're not with the unseen servant, that's on you. Okay. You're still in combat though, technically, with us. Right. All right. Okay. So, um, before I attack her, I. Tell Andor, Andor, grab the baby, and then I shoot at her. Oh wow, this is all started because of that. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. And then, can I still take my bonus action? I guess. Uh, <laughs> ooh, what is with you and the ones today? Right? Okay, that's a lot better. <laughs> okay. Right. Do you want to resolve my nat one first, or? Oh god. Can I do my bonus action damage? She oh, shot okay. the baby. That one is a shot on the baby's head. <laughs> She's not um, even facing the baby. <laughs> I'm not facing the baby. <laughs> the baby's like over here. And hit the baby. <laughs> Through and a I, door? Oh, god. You you fire your first crossbow and you find that it actually jams. Okay. Um, Ooh, she's one of those DMs. <laughs> That's mean. Like that. That's a cool resolution. It just jams, and it's probably gonna take a take a turn to fix that. That's fine. And the other one though fires smoothly, and go ahead and roll damage. Uh, Everyone, stop sighing 
at me, okay? Mm -hmm. I wasn't. I just drank some drink. Oh, it's sparkling ice. It's All right, water, basically. So, uh, sh the you shoot your second arrow at her, um, and and you hit her, and she takes a, a bit of damage. It doesn't seem like it did a whole lot of damage, but it definitely hit her. <laughs> Good. So, uh, Constance, you see the arrow on the bottom of the turn order? If you hit that, it goes to the next person. So you don't have to worry about guessing whose turn it is. Yep. Oh, it's not and, and it also, can I just flip my crossbows so my main hand has the not jammed one? That, that'll be on your turn. Oh, as okay. A, as, a, as a bonus action. Well, I'm kind of ambidextrous, so it doesn't really... Matter, I guess. It does. Well, you know, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what hand you shoot with. Whichever one you shoot first, you can. You, you you really only need one crossbow, and you use your bonus action to shoot with your off hand. If you have that the crossbow feet, uh, mastery feat, that lets you which ignore I the reloading. Yeah, then you don't. It doesn't matter. You can have just one crossbow, and you'll still be fine. Okay. So it is. Okay. So it's still gonna be main. All right. Good. Yeah. So it'll be main shot. Yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> I uh, will swing the war. You, you do main shot and offhand shot with the same one. Oh. Well. Yeah. I told you this, but you said you wanted to do a little thing anyway, so okay. Because it's cool. <laughs> it is. It's just too fucking fighting. It is a bastard. Yes. Yeah, too much fighting in this edition is really yeah, not the, the only plus side is that there's a feat that lets you get, you know, plus one AC, or not a feat, but a fighter uh feature that gives you plus one ac if you're dual wielding but there's also a new homebrew one that says if you have only one one-handed weapon and nothing in your offhand you get plus one ac so it's okay. either or a dual. okay it's a standard fighting style oh time out but anyway a 23 is gonna hit the goat yes uh how is she going to oh. no, no, no that's, that was only that was only for the first one there's what? no more surprise. There's no more surprise thing if you're trying to no, do that. It, it, no, it's his turn. He's gonna. He's gonna yeah. smack the ghost for ten. I'm swinging at the ghost, hitting with a twenty-three, doing ten damage. I just have a question. Um, how is she firing a crossbow twice in one round when she has to reload it, or is it a no? no, 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 no. Uh, so, so here she, she has the feet. She has the feet that ignores reloading, and she has two crossbows, by the way, I, and hand I, crossbows I... in each hand. Yeah, so I, I just sent it. Her works with just a single single hand crossbow too. Yes. Oh, okay. So she it's an aesthetic. Got it. And she can and she can reload while her hands are occupied. It Pretty doesn't much. matter. That, that's just part of D and D. Literally John wicking the crossbow. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> I am the crossbow expert and it looks cool that I have two. <laughs> yeah. All right. We need you know, in corporeal Thragnar, you swing your warhammer and you smack her. Nice. No, no, that wasn't a max damage roll. That was close, though. Yeah. All right, Andor, your turn. What are you doing? Will you stop touching the baby now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm touching the baby with the arm. Oh okay. gosh. So I tell the unseen servant, did you did you read the spell, Ali? Not. It's kind of important. I, I didn't. You didn't. You didn't throw it out there, did you? You, huh? you didn't. You didn't roll it. Oh yeah, oh, you no. did. I lied. Hi, I just this before, even <laughs> So basically, it's as if I I have full control out of a invisible person that has strength of two, and I can give it basic commands and tell it what to do. What and are you doing? I told it to pick up the baby first, and I'm gonna tell it to lift up the baby and get away from the cradle so we can take a look at it, at whatever the baby is. Your unseen servant brings, uh, just kind of walks to you, like, kind of holding the baby like it's diseased or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unseen servant, it doesn't know what a baby is, guys. <laughs> Jeez. Does the baby right. have? Does the baby glow blue? <laughs> is it bones? I mean, does it look like a baby? I well, don't it's you still look. wrapped up. It's still wrapped oh, up. Oh snap! 
you have the MC server bring it to you, so you don't know because it's still covered. That is correct. No. <laughs> so it basically wants to avoid ghost and get to us, right? Whatever it takes. Huh? There's no ghost hey. between you and the baby, and your no, unseen Mar servant. Yeah, Margaret is fighting the group. Ah, hey, beautiful. <laughs> Bring me the baby unseen servant. Let's take you better show us a picture Bring of this me baby. Me the child. <laughs> <laughs> you better show us <laughs> this baby. <laughs> Oh, great, great. He's every anime villain. <laughs> he, he's, he's Lord Voldemort. Oh, dear. Oh, Alright, so the Unseen Servant <laughs> brings you the bundle. A bundle of joy? Yes, oh. congratulations. Or a bundle of creepy. Bundle of horrors. All right, now what? Uh, j just don't, just don't set California on fire again. Trying to reveal the gender of the baby now. We already know the boy. Never mind. All right. So. Then I think I think in the time it would take your unseen specter to bring you the baby, it'd be Katie's turn. Okay. Katie, Every turn. round of combat is six seconds by default. A whipper. I whip my hair back and forth. Okay. <laughs> but. And damage. Boom, mm, damage. Alright. Alright, you swing your whip and you hit her. <clears throat> and then it is Rex's turn. Alright, I am going to. Do I want to do this one? Hang on, let me, let me read what this one does again. Um, <laughs> I'm right next to her, right? Yes. Yep. Undva. All right. Hopefully this hits, or I'm going to cry. <laughs> All right, that, that, wow, that hits. All right, um, and I do mediocre damage. That's 11 necrotic damage. Uh, Alright, twist. It heals the ghost. <laughs> Hang on one second. That's it? No, it's not 3.5 edition. That would be glorious. Good home. I mean, I can always do the opposite and cure wounds on it. <laughs> <laughs> That was a viable tactic against undead. Yeah. In, th in three four five, yeah, absolutely. You you use your in, you use your inflict wounds, and although you you do hit it, and the damage does wash over her, it when it fades away, you notice that she has not taken any damage from it. Ah, uh, so they're immune to necrotic from this instead. Okay, so they don't take damage, or they don't heal from it, but they, they're just, they don't take the necrotic. Okay, I had to test it out. All right, well, unfortunately... What did you learn? <laughs> <laughs> we're, learning, we're learning many things. Man. Look, look, I live with crows. What do you expect from me? <laughs> My intelligence is a 10. <laughs> It is barely average. We really need a cleric in this in this game. Don't be hard on yourself. Um, I'm glad I'm I'm a have... little smarter than you. <laughs> I I don't think I have any bonus action things I can do other than the mind link, which won't help here. So I am uh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> as the uh, specter now probably looks at me angrily, I'm just gonna smile and wave. <laughs> Spooky Jar says, "Hit the house okay. with a stick." <laughs> All right, as the as the banshee is attacked by the group and and or it, somebody is touching her baby, um, the Margaret just steps back and suddenly screams. She just opens her mouth and and lets loose the most sorrowful screaming wail ever. <laughs> and uh, everyone needs to roll me a constitution save. 
Oh. What, what you and Constitution says, I hate you. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Constitution says. I'm good. It's, it's, uh. Oh, yeah. Come on, 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 come why did why Anyways, <laughs> what happens? Well yeah. Yeah, look at my three Nat ones for every initiative roll this game. <laughs> I think I take comfort in knowing that the baby's gonna get dropped. Oh <laughs> <laughs> I mean the ocean servant shouldn't be affected by it. It's uh, not a concentration spell, uh, is it? Did I fail? Well, I stopped concentrating. Is it a concentration spell? Yes. Uh oh. And I, and I specifically oh. told it to lift the baby as high as it can. <laughs> oh no. Dude. Oh the no. Drop, guys. <laughs> oh no. Yeah. This matters to me if I failed or not. Everyone. It... What? Uh, the reason why I'm asking if I failed or not, that I have a class ability that la that lets me just pass. Um, everyone but Oryx failed. Then I'm going to use my class ability and just pass. I can't do it again until I take a long rest. Okay, um... <laughs> at the scream, every single one of you clamps your, your hands over your ears. Andor, Natsumi, and Katie, you guys drop to the floor with zero <laughs> hit points. And baby. And Wait, baby. What? Zero hit points? Zero oh, hit man, points. We're dead? No, we're oh, at zero. Yeah. zero. Right. It just means you're unconscious. Oh, okay. So. Zero is good, right? We don't need to check. Unconscious. But dead. your unconscious no, no, no. icon? So, be, um, unless it was a, a lethal attack, you don't start making death saving throws unless you're at negative one. But if, uh, if an attack hits, drops you to zero. If, if it's an attack, then you, you, then, yeah. Um... If the banshee then comes over and start it, it hits you, you have to start making uh, death saving throws after this. Otherwise, and, you're just. And you're, every, yeah, any every enemy attack on you while you're at zero automatic gives you an automatic fail. By the way. Okay. Cool. Meanwhile, so if an if an ally if an ally goes to assist you and like help you out, you know, try to stabilize you, it counts as an automatic success as well. Oh, interesting. And we're getting one one HP, right, or something? No. Uh, no. Not until you make all three successes. Even then, you're still at zero, but you're stable. And you become oh. conscious in 1d4 turns or something like that. I, don't, I can't remember. It's 1d4 hours or something like that. It's yeah. hours. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, go ahead and roll your damage. Oh, yeah. 3d6. Yeah, 3d6 psychic damage. I didn't expect it. <laughs> what? I know, I know. I think okay. he's broken. <laughs> Banshees are totally broken, but. Jesus Christ! Okay. Let's take 10 damage. Oh, you just give us the 10 flat? Okay. I'm gonna give you the 10 flat. Alright, cool, which means I take 5 because resistance to psychic. Thank God. Cool, cool. <laughs> Um, so... so Ragnar, so you also take 10. Oh, so it's not... Z when I, I want a slow motion description of the baby falling to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... As Andor drops to the ground, his... The, uh, his unseen serpent... Serp, serp, serpent... Also, um, Vanishes. disappears. 
Well, and it, it does appear it, nobody could see it anyway. Yeah, well, that's fair. Um, suddenly, you know, as the bundle falls, <laughs> the, it hits the ground with an audible thump. Uh, in the in the pale light, you see that the bed sheet had actually been stained in blood, and a very frail bleach skeleton of a baby just falls out and rolls in all different directions. The the head just kind of snaps off and rolls off into a corner of the room. Oh, right. oh, and yeah. rest, the rest of the poor baby's broken body just Ugh. falls apart. It doesn't scatter, but it just kind of falls apart. Well, I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you dropped the baby. I did not do it. Absolutely dropped the baby. All right. You can prove. Now we're at we're back at Thraknar's turn. Well, you're you're. It's at... Natsuki's turn, but yeah. I lied. I I skipped something. All right, it's Natsumi's turn. So I'm conscious. No, you are unconscious at zero hit points. Okay, so sh it's still my turn. Yeah. It is. Yes, it is your turn, but you are unable to do anything. Yeah. So next person. So I mean, technically yes, but. <laughs> All right, it's Ragnar's turn. I, you know, like punch myself in the gut, saying I hate this, and she needs to make a con save. Questions. What? Like, what? <laughs> 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 fire or something. Nope. Oh. Remember, he has to curse himself every time he uses the breath of his blood. Right. I, for I forgot. I forgot. All right. Constitution. Constitution. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got a what? 14. Oh, he takes three damage. Um, okay, uh, then Andor's turn. She's unconscious. Katie's turn. Just? Yeah, she's also unconscious. Eric's turn. Oh, you should put the icon in so we know you're unconscious, I guess. Well, this sucks. <laughs> Let's put on the banshee. Yeah. A very upset, <sighs> very mad banshee. Can I disengage myself and try to pick up the uh, the heap and the head and try to put it back in the crib? <laughs> Uh, am I conscious uh, again? And, and I'm going to slap Andor as I pass by him. <laughs> but why? Because he dropped the bait. <laughs> 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 I hope oh, no, we I'm turn to do non-lethal damage, because he's going to... I'm joking about that part. I'm joking about that part. <laughs> and yes, a slap is always non-lethal. I'm not proficient in arm strikes. <laughs> Anyways, but yes, I'm definitely disengaging, so no attack is an opportunity. No, 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 no. I thought it was leaving the threat range. You can, yes. Just, it, it disengage. If you disengage, it takes your actions and you leave the threat range without provoking attacks of opportunity. Oh, uh, okay. But it means I cannot attack or do or heal or anything. Gotcha. Um. Okay. So you you gather up chunks of baby that are laying around. <laughs> I'm never going to use that again. phrasing again. I um, hope not. I <laughs> hope not. Andor. It's <laughs> always <laughs> <laughs> him now. You you kind of try to put the head and the baby back together, and then wrap it up in that blood-soaked bedsheet. Yep. And you kind of 
you know, cradle it like you would a baby and quickly say, <laughs> rock a bye, baby, and the tree's coming off. And the, the crows are also, are also tweeting the tune as well. Yes, <laughs> 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 you trying to rock the skeleton to bed, and you, you just kind of look over at the at the banshee and smile and put the baby back in the crib and kind of rock the crib. <laughs> 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 Every it's time. Fun. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. See, no harm done. Uh, Margaret does not appear to be um, pleased by the more touching of the baby. You can see that uh, she is wounded, um, but I'm going to tell her we are sorry. Um, oh, don't give a fuck. Huh? Banshee don't give a fuck. She has right, totally well, lost her damn mind um, because you people are encroaching on her space and touching her baby. <laughs> <laughs> and the baby has been disturbed. And oh yeah. This That's is the last. Statement. That is the last thing. <laughs> the <laughs> last thing she had. Uh, the last thing she had that kept her. Sane. In human form. Oh. And when the baby was disturbed, so did she. <laughs> oh, dear. We're all gonna die. Yep, yeah, we came to the end of this game, folks. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but then we continue with Oh, because y'all wanted to mess with the baby. And or as well. To be fair, we were <laughs> getting in. Yeah. <sighs> the baby was the right thing to do, so we did good. <laughs> I wish I could spoil things. Alright, so Banshee's turn? Yeah. yeah. Banshee's turn. Uh, Banshee! Hang on, I gotta read the these. Oh god, that's never a good sign. <laughs> Um, wait a minute. <coughs> I need to turn this thing on. Hang on. Yeah. I'm such a freaking idiot. What happened? Nothing. Ignore me. I just hit the wrong button, and I've just been messing up all day. It's not been a good day. Um. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to figure out how to do a thing. <laughs> I don't know how to burger us more effectively. <laughs> oh my god! I did not expect for that crap. How was I supposed to expect every one of you but one to fail? <laughs> they are tough. They are tough. They are like hard enemies. We just but talked about- Y'all are a group of five level three. We just talked about how the important roles suck. So- yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not our day. Um. Oh, here it is. Oh, okay. All right, so um, I fixed it. All right, so the and she reaches out to um grab at Thraknar and uses a corrupting touch. Uh, what's your AC? Is 13 hit? Uh, no, you need to hit a 19 in order to hit. Gotcha, okay. Ooh, so, nice. um, the Banshee reaches for your arm, but you are able to kind of pivot away. And then it is Thraknar's turn. Unless Natsumi wants to mumble something in her unconsciousness. Can I? Go ahead. Um. 
Wait, do we, uh, do we still have like the mind three. blank? Or? No. 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 Well, he is deep. I'm talking about, like, baby talk, like, or dream talk, like, I don't oh. know, chocolate milk, you know. <laughs> that would be funny. That would be funny. Uh. Okay. So I mumble in my sleep. Stupid Aunt Dora dropping. Or. <laughs> not dropping, because I don't think that I knew that happened, right? Because I was already unconscious by the time baby yeah, dropped. Yeah. yeah? Okay, so. Stupid Aunt Dora. It's disturbing the baby. <laughs> Oh, your turn. You stupid fucking bitch and I cunt as I swing the as I swing the horn hammer again. This. I have been more. Ah, uh, good thing my channel's mature. <laughs> Oof. Okay, swing that war hammer. <laughs> oh nice. Alright, you swing that hammer as hard as you can and you just bash that that uh Banshee's brains in, and uh, you just feel your hammer hit something like jello, like kind of like a wet paper bag. And no. as you swing, as you <clears throat> swing back around, um, you see that the the Banshee just you know, lets out one last very sorrowful cry, and then yells, "My baby, I'm." So and then disappears. Further proof that Constance loves spoopy. <laughs> Plus the fact that her ringtone, her ringtone. Okay. <laughs> hey. All right, I'm gonna take this time to uh, cure wounds on myself now because I am in a lot of pain. Can you do that to me as well? Uh, yeah, I can do this twice right now. So I'm gonna do it once to myself and then once to well, once I oh, I can move through the room. What? Or did did you just bring me in at that time? <laughs> I I somehow moved out of the out of the baby room. That's interesting. But I can't move back in there. <laughs> um, uh, ghost house. Ghost <laughs> roll twenty. All right, so first heal myself, and then heal for you. Okay, don't worry about the hit the accident. So that's my healing, and that's your healing, unfortunately. And... Three plus con, or is it just flat three? Um, I do the plus cons, but I don't know about her because the spell doesn't say it. So, Constance, what? Uh, it's a D8 plus your spellcasting ability, so yeah, so it's just three. Oh, no, plus my spellcasting ability? Yes. Oh, somehow that's not included for some reason. Here, let me change. Well, so that would be a plus five then, so you heal for eight then. I don't know why it's not implemented there. Plus, that's why I didn't put wisdom. All right. I, I put add ability mod to damage or healing, so I don't know why it didn't do it. Who knows? But yeah, so you heal for 8 and I heal for 10. Guys, go. I don't mean to be a party pooper, but I might need to take a break soon. I'll leave it after that ridiculous battle. <laughs> I walk over to the succubi, you know, gently wake her. Pretty shitty rolls, guys. <laughs> yeah. Like, we might as well just rest here since everybody's already knocked out anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna take a long rest. Uh, yeah. If anybody else comes out during the long rest, oh well. <laughs> 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 Nappy time. Nap time, whether you like it or not. <laughs> already through the room anyway, so might as well. Um, so just so you're aware, Constance, I do sleep, but I don't dream. No, no, yeah, we're uh, not connected crows, to the plane of dreams. The the crows fly over to the skeleton okay. base.
Hello? Uh, I think Chris got a phone call. Um. Oh. The crows fly over to the baby crib and pick up the bloodstained sheet, letting the baby skeleton tumble out into oh, the crib. Oh, hey, I was just describing the crows taking the blood soaked sheet off of the baby, letting the skeleton clatter around. Uh, um, well, and I can't tell my parents what to do, so. They fly over and drape the bloodstained sheet over Eric. <laughs> uh, you're a horrible person. <laughs> There's a bed right here. It's a baby <laughs> sheet. Great, now I'm cursed for life. Now I now I'm not dual now I'm not dual minded, I'm triple minded. I have the baby in my soul now. Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Love this campaign. Cuddle up to Eric and fall asleep as well. <laughs> Thanks. These <laughs> concerned parents looking out for their kid. And I appreciate them very much. Mm-hmm. And now you'll never be lonely with the with the haunted ghost boy baby. <laughs> I fire. never was lonely. I already have a demon. I mean, uh, something else in my head. And now you have a baby. <laughs> Ghost baby! Randomly, you're gonna hear babies crying in your head? Yep, wouldn't be the first time. Oh, wouldn't be the first time. Oh, I have questions. <laughs> the, the, de no, the demon inside my head it also whines from now, every now and then. It's just a. a it's, the, it, it's not haunted. The, the sheet is not haunted. Right. Well, I yeah. So my, my mom just called me uh, my real mom, not the crow mom. <laughs> and uh, time to eat. All so... right. Talk to you guys later. Yes. Right. Next week. We continue next week. Do we love? Uh, I got a wedding. I gotta go to my uh, brother's wedding. Yeah, and it's my brother's birthday next week, so. And then. And I'm a fish getting a wedding. Yeah, what? so three of us won't be here. Okay. Yeah. We said that in the chat there in the Discord. So cancel D and D next week. Got it. Yes. So the seventeenth probably, if Constance wants to, I will let her run it next then as well, or I can run mine, or Jay can run his. I don't really care. As long as we're doing something sometime, I don't care whose session is. Honestly, I just suggested the cycling in in case the line breaks. But if you want to keep going every week after week, that is perfectly fine. I don't care. Okie doke. Somebody else. All right. Good night, guys. It was fun. Uh, uh, since do love Thanks for the fun. All right. So for everybody still here, we're gonna go raid somebody else's channel, and you guys are great for sticking around. Um. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see. Yes, it was super fun. Like my gosh. <laughs> spooky, spooky season commenced. So it was super fun. I like that. Um, anyway, uh, for anyone still here that is, hasn't followed yet, you guys are, you know, encouraged and appreciated to follow and stuff. Um, <laughs> you, we do have Blue Bubbles as well as Supporting Canines for Warriors. They are an awesome nonprofit group, so if you can offer some love, you know, some donation, that'd be awesome. And let's go raid Silent First Class now. He's playing... Dark Souls. So let's let's see what he's up to. Thanks again guys. See you next time I'm on, which is Monday. Oh, by the way, there's a poll on Monday. That poll is gonna be the well, you'll see. <laughs> okay.
I like how I can just 300 this time. Just shield up and. What are you playing? Dungeons and Dragons Online? How is that game? I've never played that one. I don't know what even. Yeah, I saw you put it in there yesterday and. I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'll, I'll, I'll give him a. I'll add on it. I think I added Miss. Pulling me through the doors. Oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. I'm dead. Whoops. Uh, well, I got my whoop battle whoop in our battle with a banshee. And ouch. Ouch. Is I don't want to talk about it anymore. Because I'm just trying to run to the boss. <laughs> and it's impossible. No, 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 no. No! Get out of the door. Okay, not dropping off the ledge this time. Are they gonna make it down here this time? Hey, look, they made it! a butt potion, you know it. Uh, <laughs> not my real one. What is going on here? Aren't you? Okay, I'm 300 away. Apparently I can't hit the ball. I still can't hit the... Go away. I don't like you. I'm gonna be a little bitch about it. 